Hey YouTubers, Johnny Valentine here with Kane Solar. This video is about uh, the Magnum load centers. Just a couple different load centers Magnum offers. Actually, there's a bunch of different load centers that Magnum offers. And I just wanted to give you guys a brief tour of this MPSL 175-30D. This is the uh, load center that you would use if you wanted the ability to expand so if you look at it from the side here's the label number it's the 175-30d there's an MPSL an MPSH and an MPDH so basically this one can handle up to two inverters you can you can you can uh, bolt other other parts onto it this one can handle up to four and this one can handle up to eight and so Magnum has a bunch of different part numbers and variations of their uh, load centers, but you've heard me talk about the load center before. That's the inverter, of course. It's a 48 volt, 44, 48. Here's the back plate. So, um, what you can do is, you know, you take the Magnum inverter and then you, you you buy their interconnection equipment, and you can have all of your AC breakers and your DC breakers. Uh, there's there's DIN rail and stuff. So let me pull this. Uh, off for you but you can have all your interconnection equipment right where the magnum goes so it just gives you a really clean seamless look so in a lot of my videos you see me using the MMP uh, uh, 17530 D that's the uh, smaller magnum mini panels I'll use those a lot on straight systems but when I go into a uh, AC coupled situation I really like to have the extra bus bars that are inside of the MPSL Get that out of there. So this is a unit that I'm fixing to send off to a customer. A lot of people buy equipment from me as well. Um, what's nice about the the MPSLs is they come with a uh, AC leg in and uh, or, or, or AC in bus bars, AC out bus bars. You have neutral and, and a couple of different ground bus bars. You have a DC positive bus bar, uh, a DC negative bus bar. Here's the shunt back here. So I don't know if you can see the shunt. Let me see if I can get a good good footage of that. There's the shunt down there. And um, a nice bus bar to bolt battery cables on. So this is a uh, this this enclosure's a little bit more expensive than the MMP 175-30D. The 175 is uh, the breaker size, so on a 48 volt. Uh, system you would be using a 175 amp breaker on a 24 volt system you'd be using a 250 amp breaker but the so it's going to be MMP 7175 or MMP 250-30D or 175-30D the 30D is of course 30 double pole breaker that's because it's a 240 volt um, uh, so if you're trying to figure out which which load center you need you can try to look it up or you can call and check with somebody. Call and check with Magnum, call and check with me. You can get in contact with me. It also has bus bars for your output of your inverter. And this is so that if you had a second inverter, um, you, you'd be able to combine their outputs right there before they go into this, these output breakers. So there's that normal operation breaker that would uh, where the output of both inverters would go to right there and then there's the bypass breaker where you know pa grid power would flow in through here get bypassed and go straight to here and that's how the bypass works uh, this is a new thing I've been working on this is uh, an interlock uh, system this is from uh, Midnight Solar's MS uh, this is their interlock system but anyway basically what I can do here is when I put my inverter cover on. Let me do that real quick. Now I can, if I have it in this position, since the Magnum only has one AC input, if I put it in the down position, I can give generator power to the Magnum and I've locked out the solar and I've locked out, remember there's PV and grid power. So when those breakers are off, I've got the solars off and the, P and the grid is off and the generator's on. Flip it in the up position, solar and grid, that's the normal mode. 
solar's on, it's AC coupled system, so I want to be able to lock out my generator if my solar or AC coupled uh, solar array is running. These are the GT500, so this is a all-in-one setup. Don't need a bunch of uh, dump loads or anything crazy to turn off my uh, AC coupled setup. I don't need more than one different way because Magnum's GT500s are made to AC couple with Magnum's battery inverters. So this little lockout plate is the best thing I could come up with for my customers when they want to be able to charge with the generator. So I'll feed generator power up into this breaker, the breaker on the left. That'll get, you know, a, a, a uh, generator inlet plug or some kind of a generator feed. And then, of course, this will be where the solar comes in. Um, maximum of 30 amps from the solar, maximum of 16 panels from the solar. I, I just use a 30 amp breaker right there. But if you wanted to be safe, you could use a 20 and use up to seven GT500s on one 20 amp breaker. You don't want to have over seven GT500s on a 20 amp breaker. And you don't want to have over seven GT500s together. You want to only have seven. Um, but you can have up to eight on one 4448 and you can have up to seven on one 4024. 90% of the continuous power of the inverter is the amount of power that you can pass through AC coupling. So that 90% of a 4,400 watts would be 4,000 watts. A lot of technical stuff there. But this is just a, so that DIN rail, that, there's DIN rail right there. So you can bolt in all kinds of DIN rail breakers. In my opinion, this, not in my opinion, in truth, now this, this uh, load center has a whole lot more room in it than the, uh, than the Outback GSLC load center. Uh, Xantrex, the XW load center, it's, uh, it's got a lot of room in it too, but this one's very nice. Uh, some of the midnight load centers that I've worked in, they're kind of tight too, but this one, they give you a lot of room uh, to wire. There's a spot, that's Magnum's uh, ME-BMK, there's their battery monitor kit. Uh, that, that's what reads the shunt. And the uh, only thing I don't like about this, MPSL doesn't have a spot for you to mount your MEARC50, which is your Magnum controller. So I know you guys are probably like, why don't they just make an inverter and nothing else? And why, why do you need all this other stuff? Guys, this makes it a whole lot easier when you have this interconnection equipment. The, the install of the inverter is a breeze. If you just buy the inverter and you're piecing your system together, you're going to realize really quick, you're going to be scratching your head and wondering, how do I get this inverter installed, make it look clean, make it look safe? Uh, but when you buy one of these things, you can just literally screw a 2x4 on the side of the uh, wall, carry this beast up to it, set it up against it, and lean it up, and lag it down, and you're done. So this is these Magnum inverters are... Uh, the, their load centers make it really easy to install them. If you're interested in buying one of these, you can contact me through your through the website. And if you talk about this video, I guarantee you I can sell it to you for cheaper than anybody on the internet. And I can ship it anywhere in the country. So these are Magnum inverters. And uh, if you're watching this video, then you're probably interested in one. The Magnum too, you know, if you're trying to make a decision on which inverter to buy, this is, this is the most economical 240 volt american made pure sign inverter on the market um they they the schneider has another one that is uh pretty good i believe it's their sw series but um this is just what i'm fluent and familiar in and i've had really good luck with these i've got over 30 of them out in the field and they're all working very good i haven't had to replace the same part in all of them or haven't had a systematic failure or anything like that every now and then something maybe a board needs to be replaced it's not hard to do at all you just pop these six screws on the cover and you can get in there and field service these things or send it back to a magnum repair center which is what you'll probably end up doing if you're not an installer but there's my generator interlock again nice little labeling and I um, appreciate you watching this video if you like these kind of videos then please like and subscribe and I'll make more of them Don't, feel free to comment on what you'd like to see these are surge protectors if you're wondering